hello guys so the first thing you will need is this spray paint of the color whatever color you're doing and then you will need two of these the same glass of these type and you will need one of these um another thing is that if you want to make a taller you can use this one it's, it's up to you um i didn't at the end i don't know if i'm going to use this one but i didn't use it on my photo so what you will do is just spray paint it um all over it and look how cute it turns out so after you do that you will do it to all the glasses you just spray paint to all the glass until all of them are done and make sure you let them dry very good um before you attack then i went ahead and placed my jar facing down and then i'm going to put hot glue all around the all around the jars make sure you use 600 for better attachment so after that just place my jar on top of it and make sure you press it very good so it won't fall off and then don't worry about that little gap in there because i will put something down later on so then i went ahead on top and i'm just gonna go ahead all around it and put hot glue and i'm just gonna go ahead and place it on top one more time and press it down until you attach the whole three base and that's your stand and i went ahead and put a little bit of hot glue on my rhinestone and then i'm just gonna go ahead and place it all around my base just like that and look how cute that looks so the next step i did was i got this foam board at walmart and i got my flowers so i'm just gonna go ahead and attach them to my foam ball so i took this flower and i spray painted the color that i'm gonna um teal blue so i just spray painted and i'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the middle so it can stand down and look super cute as you can see here my plan was to put those big um um tree at the at the top but then i decided not to do it so it looked better without it so i just went ahead and placed all the flowers then i found these beads a dollar tree so i bought a few of them and i just cut them at the same length and what i'm gonna do next is after i cut them the same length like that i'm gonna go ahead and spray paint it in gold um so i went ahead and spray paint it and just spray paint one side then let it dry and then turn it around and then spray paint the other side after the beads are dry i would just put the pins through the middle and then i would just I'd go ahead and attach it to the foam ball of my flowers and the last step you would just go ahead and put hot glue on the top of the base and then you would just go ahead and place your flower on top and that will give you a beautiful centerpiece if you guys enjoy it please don't forget to subscribe thank you